I'm going to take this uh, clay and I'm going to uh, remove it and put the uh, three foot tall one up uh, because I'm going to start working on him. I don't know how much battery juice I've got left in this camera. I've been using it a little bit today, experimenting to get the best picture. Uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, do as much as I can before it uh, dies on me. Um, I got this uh, in the mail yesterday. It's from uh, um, Alternatives Art, and it's a hand mannequin, right hand, 12 inches. I think I got it on eBay. And uh, here's the mannequin uh, right here. And uh, it's it's pretty good. It's I wouldn't recommend it because this thumb only you know goes like that. You can't. I don't see how you can turn it or anything like that. But uh, the fingers are nice, and if you've got to grab something or put a hand around something, this will work fine limitedly because the thumb uh, doesn't expand out or turn, so it doesn't really react like a real hand. So. Like I said, it makes a nice decoration, but probably not going to be much good for anything other than taking measurements for fingers and stuff like that. Here, but right now, I'm going to anchor him down. I've got him centered on the uh, sculpting table, so he's not going in and out as I turn it. I'm going to go with a uh, two-incher. No, I'll just go with this full-blown three-incher for both feet. Yep, I'm going to go all out. <laughs> all right, let's get back, this one back to the two inch or two and a half inch slot. This is a handy little thing for putting your screws in. You can get it at the uh, hardware store. That's where I got mine. And uh, it's handy to have because you're, you don't, you're not searching around for your two inch screws, your one inch screws, or your three inch screws. You, they're all right in here in your little cubby holes and then you lock it down and I can just lean it up against the uh, bottom of the table out of the way and so if it even falls over it uh, I won't lose them so I'm gonna put that right there I think what I'll do is a starter hole yeah you really have to anchor these feet down and so I'm gonna do that right there let me get this uh, off here. So I can take the leg off to uh, drill uh, the, the hole, which I need to find my drill bit. The only reason I'm drilling a hole first is because this stuff is really hard to drill into our screw it, put a screw through. So I'm going to start the hole and uh, screw it. Okay, there we go. You can do anything you want to. You can, you know, weld it to something or use fast steel, but uh, electricians take cheap, right? easy to use. So that locks in that leg. Now I can work on that foot and the leg and not worry about it uh, moving on me. And there we go. I'm taking some wide 3 inch, I think it's 3 inch, Tape. Uh, what is it? It doesn't matter. It's about three inches. And I'm going to make a reservoir. I'm going to put this just inside the circle because I want to, uh, you know, bring the uh, base out to the circle with clay. So I'm not worried about having this accurately circular. That's foam, but uh, definitely want that line to line up my clay with later on. Oh, I gotta get my knife because I want to 
with the uh, tape a little bit so that I can get around the corner there. I'm going to have to put another level of tape on this. That's okay. Let's see if I'm within the line. Yep. Well within the line. I'm not worried about the shape of this. I'm just trying to save myself a ton of clay by having this on the board. All right, I've got the uh, dike built uh, to hold the, the foam all the way around. I've raised it up one level, and I've gone through and I've hit every hole that I can to uh, make sure that the uh, foam does not come through. And then I put another layer of foam, uh, tape down so that, uh, again, we keep foam from escaping last thing you want to do is get it on your clothes. These guys came in to see me, and uh, <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Fresno, California. And your name? Elder Carrazzi. Carrazzi? Yep. I'm Elder Bishop from North Carolina. North Carolina? Wow. Elder Allen from Layton, Utah. Oh, you're from a Utah boy. Yeah. Anyway. At least one of us. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, or, too. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go back to work here, and they're going to watch me. <sighs> All right, now I'm just grass grow. Mixed up my first batch of AB mixture. Now I'm just trying to get it all the way around, but I don't think I'm going to get it. And then this is going to take several mixtures, but it's a lot of space to cover. Any time now, guys. It's starting to expand. I can see it. I think. See a little bit. Oh, see the screen turns off after a minute, which is a good thing because I only got one bar of battery left, or two. Oh, there we go. It's starting to do it now. Change color. It's going to be that Native American right oh, there. Really? It's a Indian called. I think I got his picture here. You do a lot of Native American work. Yeah. And his name is Touch the Clouds. And he was a Minikanju uh, Lakota Sioux. He uh, was a cousin of Crazy Horse. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think I got his picture here. Nope. I thought he did. Anyway. How long does it take to complete what you're going to be doing? Hmm? The one in front of you? The, that oh, that one, how long will that take? About a month. About a month, long. I have to have it down in the uh, gallery in Jackson Hole, the 1st of December. Mm -hmm. That point right, right there. Both cups. There we go. Tear me off a paper towel if you would. I got you. Here we go. This is showing through the camera. Right, I'm going to mix this batch up. I've got half uh, A in one and pouring the other half of the uh, other part in now. And, uh, and I'm going to just mix it up. And you can see it starts turning color here right now. Okay, you gotta pour it in. I just wanted to save my battery as much as I could because I got one bar on it. And we'll just leave it here and let you watch it rise. I'm 
Yes, and I'm going to pick up the end of the cavalry. You heard that? Uh, can I have a hard number? Unfortunately, we have four more back here. I'm not sure that there's one back here. Okay. Alright, yeah. All hardened up. The missionaries are about to go blind with boredom. <laughs> uh, we don't know how to whine. And, um. Oh, just a little bit. But still, I'm saving myself a ton of money. The thing is, you don't want to get the sticky stuff on your hands either. Because that will stick with you for a long time. It's best to use wood, rubber gloves, but I didn't. Well, before I go home, I'll try to cut this a little bit with the Let's get this turned around. This is going to be bad. I'm going to have to take it outside and blow it off with some canned air. Yeah, I think I'll continue this tomorrow because I don't want to get this place all full of this foam that never, ever gets cleaned up. Um, I'm going to stop working on carving this foam with this saw, and I'll pick this up tomorrow when I do it outside where all this fine, dusty foam can actually be spread out outside. Um, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. It's my... 69th birthday and um, it's my 69th birthday and so I'm going to take the day for myself might go for a drive I don't know